Something just happened. Uh, this thing just shut down on us. We've been hitting that damage threshold. Oh, no! No! Okay, we need to get moving. Hello, YouTube. Komodo Gaming here. Bring you guys another episode of Stormworks Build and Rescue. And yes, folks, we are back with Sinking Tuesdays. And we are back with an epic ship here. So... We are going to be checking out the SS Orion today. This is one of those ships that you have to spawn with a special mission. Uh, it is in two parts, I believe, and it's got a uh, it's got some functionality that I have been misusing on these ships for a while now. Uh, we've been checking out it's the GB Danny ships. Uh, they're all destructible, and yeah, I've made a boo boo with how I was using them. I'll explain that here in a second. So, we are going to have Sinking Ship Survival today, like we always have on Tuesdays. And folks, tune in tomorrow, because there's going to be something exciting happening with Stormworks. So be sure to check out tomorrow's episode, it will be posted right around the same time. Maybe hit that bell if you want to be notified for that. So the link to this fantastic ship will be down below if you want to check it out and play with it yourself. And if you're enjoying Stormworks on the channel, be sure to hit that thumbs up button, it helps out my channel. And let's jump into this. Ah, uh, yes. It's a little rainy here today. We've got our fantastic SS Orion. Uh, let's go ahead and jump into the wheelhouse real quick. That way I can give you guys a little bit of a tour of this thing. So, I said I was misusing things here on this ship. And let me explain what's happening here. Alright, so this panel over here. This is where I've been making a big mistake. Left side is scuttle. Right side is unlock weather damage. Well, the scuttle is the sinking and it's a really quick sink. Like it basically starts to flood itself it shuts itself off in whatever kind of damage the ship will take it might split in half it might break something else off but it does it really quick and that has been something that's been a little weird for me because i can't actually enjoy the uh, the survival portion of it well that's what this is for and if you use the unlock weather damage by itself this thing will take realistic damage so when i unlock this we will get into a big storm and this thing will take damage and it'll actually have a normal sink and when I say normal it'll take time and it'll go through its damage process it'll do a bunch of things just in a way slower manner that way we can actually enjoy the sink and try to survive get the lifeboats ready and try to get out of the boat so we will be doing that here today but anyways it's a fine day outside I think we are about to run into an island let's go ahead and redirect our GPS real quick uh, we're going to shoot between these two islands here. Let's go to about the, uh, we're going to call it the 9,000 by 1,400 here. So let's uh, change our GPS here. Let's go 9,000 by 1,400. We got to get our uh, cargo out to the uh, docks over here. So let's go boom. Okay, that should go ahead and start redirecting us here. All right, we should start turning slightly to the left. Yeah, we are. Okay, so we should avoid that island, hopefully. If not, I think the weather damage, you can also, if you get close enough to an island, it'll take whole damage, too. Uh, which I don't think we're going to test that out here today. But, anyways, let's go ahead and go over the ship. Now, we have checked out some cargo ships before. Uh, this one is a little bit different. This one's kind of weird because the wheelhouse and everything is in the middle. Well, I guess you could say the middle. Maybe a little bit more towards the front, but... I don't think I've ever seen that. Like, you've got a whole front section with storage compartments, and there is a crane on the front, and then I think most of the crew quarters is going to be in the back, and then you got this awesome catwalk that goes all the way back there, too. Now, this thing is equipped with four lifeboats, so we could lower the davits here, and this is going to be our means of escape today. Okay, so let's go ahead and go over here. Now, I had some people actually ask me, and they said, you don't sink anything at night anymore. And I wasn't really sure if I was going to do this one at night. Of course, it is going to be very heavy weather. That way we can actually see the weather damage. Uh, but I'm debating on the night thing. I might actually let the time naturally progress. That way, uh, whenever it happens, it happens. All right, let's go ahead and go back here. I believe this is going to be our crew quarters here. Uh, there's some lifeboats above us. Uh, the deputy engineer, yeah, everybody's got their quarters. Here's the crew's mess hall, which this mess hall is kind of cool because it actually wraps around the back of the ship. And there's a uh, little kitchen right here. I guess I should call it the galley. So down here, you can start going to the bottom of the ship. The uh, we got a storeroom right here, so let's go ahead and drop down here. Uh, can I close that again? I don't think I can close. Actually, I can probably hit that again. There we go. 
All right, so we're down at the bottom of the ship. This is a uh, cold storage back here. This is all kitchen storage. Uh, but if you start heading this way, this is where you get to more crew quarters, and then you'll eventually get to the storage, which is in the hole. I like how everything is labeled. Like, it just doesn't say quarters. Like, it doesn't say crew quarters. Like, everybody's got their own quarters here. That is pretty awesome. Uh, maybe one day we'll be able to get, like, a large-scale sink, and we'll put, like, I don't know, 10 or 15 people on this thing. I don't know if that's possible right now. All right, so we're walking to the front of the ship. We are passing by... Which island is that? That might be one of the creative islands. I think, yeah, we're going to pass by. I hope there's no rocks up there. If not, we are going to scrape bottom. All right, so we can uh, go down here. This will take us to the uh, the cargo hold. But I'm going to go up here and check out this uh, crane. And we're going to make sure we actually pass by this island. I am a bit concerned right now. Uh, yeah, I don't think my eyes are deceiving me. I do believe we're going to pass in between these. There's the, uh, the fort over there. So anyways, uh, you do have a uh, little deck area up here that you can uh, load up your cargo. I believe the doors and all that are here, so you can unseal that. And that opens up the whole bottom, and there's several compartments. I do believe it's divided uh, from here. Let's go ahead and close that. Somebody's going to get mad if I leave that open while this thing sinks. Uh, over here, we do have the crane. So you got a fully functioning crane. I don't know if there's really... Uh, I would like to see more cargo missions. And I know there's a lot of missions where it's like, go to point A, grab some boxes, and chunk them on your boat, but I'd actually like to see some, like, heavy cargo missions. Alright, so we're about to go below deck. Yeah, we're gonna be good. Okay, so let's go ahead, get this hatch open here, whoop, and get down here. Uh, let's close that up. There we go. Alright, so we are in the ship's storage right now. Man, this is pretty epic looking. It amazes me how many ships GB Danny puts out. Like, they're all quality ships. Uh, I must play the game quite a bit. It's uh, fairly impressive. So you're seeing like this dual layer here. So this left side, that's going to be outside into the water. But the right side, these are the storage compartments uh, for all the cargo. And you can see they're actually separated out here, which is pretty cool. Now, I think if we go up this way, we're going to get to the engine room here in a second. So let's go and open up this. Seems like this might be the halfway point of this ship right here. So let's keep moving back. Uh, one of these is going to be engine. Oh, actually, I take that back. The engine's actually down here. What's this? Uh, tank controls. Oh, this is all your gauges in here. Okay, here's the engine down here. So uh, GB Danny normally puts two options for your engine. You can crank it up down here, or you can crank it up at the wheelhouse, however you want to do it. I also think you might be able to steer from back here on this one. So yeah, there's the engine running. You can go down there and do some more maintenance. Uh, but I think for the most part, I think that's where the, one of the stacks leads out, possibly? I don't know. Alright, but yeah, we pretty much checked out most of the ship here. It is uh, pretty much just a cargo ship. Uh, still pretty awesome. But let's get above deck here. And let's go check out the wheelhouse. Alright, and we just swing back around here. Did I miss the captain's quarters? I don't think I did. Okay, so this is back to the wheelhouse. Maybe it's actually back behind the wheelhouse? Uh, let's see. Chart room. Never mind. Huh. It's down there somewhere. All right. Let's close that up. All right. We are uh, seeing a little bit of pickup in the rain, but we are still on track right now. We're getting into the really open ocean right now. So if anything bad were to happen, that would be a, that'd be a shame. So anyways, I turned on the, uh, the time, so it's going to actually be rolling. I'm not going to be controlling the time itself. Uh, we're going to go ahead. Let's see. You can see the rain here. There's your wind speed. Uh, guess red is the danger threshold. So, wind speed, I don't know if that's in knots. Uh, right now it's about 5.4, uh, but that might change here in a bit. So, what we're going to do, let's go ahead and unlock the weather damage. So, this thing is able to take damage now. So, that is on. So, if that gets uh, in the threshold, or if we take a wave wrong, it might get a little bit messy. Alright, so we're seeing an increase in waves and wind speed right now. Let's go ahead and check our threshold. Uh, we're not even halfway there, so we're still good. Oil platform is up ahead, so we're going to pass by that. I'm going to need to turn off the, uh, the autopilot real quick. Alright, so we are going to be passing to the left side of the oil rig there. I believe that's the big platform, if I'm not mistaken. Uh, Creative Island is down that way. That is the island that we passed by not too long ago. And that time is really progressing. It's going to be night. Oh, boy. Do we have any more deck lights or uh, the actual cargo portion? That's a little dark. It's a little spooky. 
I think we'll be okay. I don't know. That would be my worst fear. Like, I would hate to even think about sinking in a ship, but doing it at night, that just, ooh, that just creeps me out so bad. All right. Ship is set and ready to go. I think we might go get us a nice coffee. Hold on, let's get our flashlight on here. Let's go get us a coffee out at the, uh, out in the kitchen here. Oh, I love being out on the ocean at night. It scares me to death with the sinking part, but just being out there and just going on the waves in a big boat, uh, that is actually pretty awesome. Ooh, it is a lot louder back here. I guess we're by the engines. All right, got a little stove here. We can heat up some coffee. I know you can do tea on the stove. We're gonna say we're gonna heat us up some coffee before we take on our shift here at the wheelhouse. Uh, it's getting pretty bumpy out there though. This ship is really rocking. Uh, I got us a nice cup of joe. I'm a, I'm a medium roast guy. I don't like it uh, too dark and I don't like a really light roast though because it's kind of pointless. It just tastes like hot water. Uh, let's go ahead and close that up there. Oh man, look at that moon. That is cool. Alright, let's get our flashlight back on here. Uh, oh boy, we are rocking. Uh, we need to go check that threshold real quick and see what we're dealing with. Uh, I don't know if we're there. We're probably pretty close to it. What are you guys going to guess? I'm going to guess it's at like 11 maybe. I hope not to see 16 because I'm not ready yet. Uh, let's go in here. Close that door there. Okay. We are at, oh, we're, ah, we're going back and forth. It looks like it gets up to about 12, uh, kind of depending on what we're getting hit by here. Oh, it is nasty out there. Look at that. You can hardly see the front of the ship. Have we passed by the oil rig yet? I don't know. I don't see it. Uh, something's happened. I've lost, I think we just lost power to one of our motors. It got, it was loud, and then it got really quiet. It sounded like, it, yeah, our knots are, our knots are shifting because of the, because of the waves, but I could have swore I heard one of our engines power down. We're not in the threshold, though, which is weird. Like, I don't know if you just have to hit it once. I mean, the highest I've seen it get is about 12.6. So, I don't know what's going on here. Let's just keep it full throttle. Oh, boy. Alright, so I think we're safe to turn on the autopilot again. Uh, we are passing by the rig. For some reason, the rig is not lit up tonight. Like, normally you see the flare off of it. Uh, it is actually right there. I see a, a slight bit of light. But man, this rig over here needs some more light. Like, you can't even see that. If it was pitch black out here, which it almost is, like, you could run into that thing. Alright, those waves are starting to really kick up right now. We need to, uh, we need to adjust our head. Uh-oh. Uh-oh, that is, uh, that's teetering really, really close. We're at about 14 on the 16, 14.3. Uh, okay, so we're going to try to redirect ourselves with the waves. That way they can carry us here. There we go. Hey, that actually helped quite a bit. Oh, uh-oh. Oh, it got up to 14.5. We are so close to hitting that 16 threshold. Uh, I'm a bit afraid here. All right. Well, it's been night for a while now, so I think it's going to shift around a day again. Uh, I don't know if this thing's going to go down at night. We'll have to see. Uh-oh. Oh, no, 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 no. We just hit 17 on the damage threshold. Uh-oh. Oh, boy. Okay. Uh, we are getting pounded by some waves here. Let's try to redirect this thing. Okay, so the autopilot's off right now. We need to just stay even with the waves. We have got a, uh, a bit of a ship emergency here with the... With the weather here, let's go ahead and take a peek. Alright, everything seems to be okay. Oh boy. I am really afraid. That damage threshold, it keeps touching 16. I don't wonder if we should go below deck real quick. Hold on, let's go out to the front of the ship. Uh, let's try not to get thrown off this thing. Alright, let's be careful. Uh, this is where it gets a little bit dangerous here. Uh, let's get our flashlight on. Okay. Oh boy. Oh, uh, look at those waves. Ah, they're right by us. Uh, everything looks fine right now. Let's go ahead and go. You know, the good thing about this ship is as soon as you go below deck, like that would be where if you were taken on water, it's going to be like right there, I would think. I don't know if there's a compartment below this. I don't believe there is. All uh, right, just doing a check. We're at the front of the ship. Everything looks fine so far. Uh, no leaks. We haven't taken any damage yet. So, we're going to be fine. 
Uh, famous last words, possibly? Man, I don't wonder if we should... Uh-oh. Uh, we just lost power. We just lost... Uh-oh. That's... Hold on. Something just happened. Uh, this thing just shut down on us. We've been hitting that damage threshold. Oh, no! No! Okay, we need to get moving. Uh, on. Oh! But that's... We just separated the ship. Oh, that's not good. Okay, which side? Okay, get to the davits. Oh, I'm ready to ride this out. Uh, hold on. Oh, no, no, no. Before this thing goes down. Come on. Come on. Get out. Get out there. Get out there. Get out there. Get out there. All right, we need to disconnect this lifeboat immediately. Oh, both sides of the ship are up, though. This thing broke in half, and it's still floating. It just got snapped by that wave. Uh oh, no, no, no. It's not floating anymore. All right, come on. Uh, I need to hit a release. Release. It's right there. I think... No, it's that, It's over on that side. If I miss this, uh, that is very bad. Uh, come on. Drop, drop, drop. Oh. Oh, man. Oh, you want to sit there and admire the sink, but you can't... Uh oh. Oh, boy. I don't know if we're going to survive this, folks. On. No! Oh, I just fell in. Oh, boy. Uh-oh. That's not good. Oh, man. It's sinking. No! There goes our lifeboats. Oh, haunt. Oh, we're going to get thrown up against this haunt. Keep our head above water. Uh, there goes the front of the ship. Oh, we need to get to the back side here. This side's still afloat. Now, this side will stay up for a little bit. But I do believe this side will go down. Come on. Get your head above water. <laughs> I got a life vest on, so that's a thing. Uh, let's see if we can just... Oh, I'm going to get slammed against the ladder here. All right, there's lifeboats. Oh, thankfully there's lifeboats on this side. Come on, Sunrise. We need you. Uh, is that the sun? That might be the sun, actually. Oh, and I think it's getting light outside. Good. All right, we have a chance to survive here. Uh, let's see. We need to get up to the next deck. Oh, yeah, it's on the back. Oh, boy. Oh, those are some massive waves. Wait, look. Wait, that's our safety right there. That's our saving grace. Uh, we can get off to the, uh, out to the oil rig. We'll be fine. All right, so let's go ahead and... Come on, Davits. Let's go ahead and get these out. Man, I just couldn't get the release on the front one. Here we go. All right, that one's out. All right, start lowering. Come on. Stay out. Lower, lower, lower. I want to hop into this thing, but I'm afraid of falling and missing it. Uh, uh, come on. Okay, we're in it. We're in the lifeboat. It's being lowered right now. All right. Is there a motor on this thing? I don't think there is. I think we're going to be floating. I hope we don't get carried under here. All right. Come on. I don't want to drop it because I don't want to fall. All right. Is it still lowering? Come on. Yeah, we're still lowering this thing. Oh, boy. Oh, boy. That is not good. All right. I just heard the motor shut off on this side. This back part's going down. All right. Drop. Drop. Oh. Oh. No, 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 no. No, 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 no. Oh, is it going to flip us? Oh, look at that. That is spectacular looking. All right. We just need to try to get away from the ship here. Hold on. Set towards the front of it. Uh, are we, are we away? Oh. Uh, oh, safety's just up ahead of us right now. Oh, that's a big wave coming. I'm just trying not to get slammed up against the boat here. I actually wish that back portion would go down already. That way we'd be safe from that. Oh, uh, we just got to try to keep from flipping over here. I don't wonder if the oil rig would have seen us by now, seeing what's going on out here. Oh, come on. Get away from it. Oh, that is so cool looking. Man, how deep is the water out here? Oh, oh, oh. <laughs> okay. All right, come on, a little further out. Oh, uh, come on, come on. Make it. Ooh, uh oh. Oh, we got hit wrong that time. Oh, boy. Oh, I think it's starting to finally go down. The front's starting to tilt down a bit more. Got my flashlight here, trying to flash it towards the people on the oil rig. You can come save us, please. <laughs> oh, boy. Oh, that is so scary looking. Oh, look at us out here in our little lifeboat. Lifeboat's getting uh, further and further away. We're going to try to make it over to the uh, to the oil rig over there. Uh, the back half of the boat is doing a decent job at staying up. 
But I'm pretty sure it's going to wind up going down here soon. I don't wonder if we should just go ahead and just make a break for it, uh, for the uh, oil rig over there. This thing doesn't have a, a motor on it, so we're just slowly floating away from the wreckage. All right, you know what? Let's get in the water. We have to survive this one, so we are heading out to an oil rig. I don't know how far that is away. That might be a little bit deceiving here for the character. Oh, boy. That was a pretty intense... I don't think we've had one that intense in a while. Just doing that at night and seeing that back part split off like that, that is insane looking. All right, we're getting closer to our goal here. We're about halfway there. That oil rig looks really, really weird from here. I don't think it's got a graphical glitch. Uh, oh. Oh, look at that. You can see it. The ship's going down. Hold on. Let's go photo mode. Oh, that is crazy looking. It's going. It's finally going under. There it goes. And it's gone. Wow. It was just a matter of time for that back section went down. You know, we actually could have stayed on that quite a bit longer. Well, it has gone to the bottom of the sea. Let's try to get out to this oil rig. Ah, here we are at the oil rig. I don't know if I noticed this one. Looks a little bit different. I don't remember a big crane like that. Yeah, boys, uh, nice of you guys to come out here and, uh, and help me. You know, you didn't see the ship going down over there? Is anybody home here on the oil rig? Oh, boy. Well... We actually made it. I must say we, we survived this one. I'm trying to search to see if anybody's home here. Uh, nobody's in the washroom. Where is everybody? I need to talk to somebody's manager here. Well, that might have been the reason we weren't rescued. I don't think there's anybody on this oil rig. That's weird. Normally there's NPCs on these things. Uh, I guess not today. Alright, well, let's get inside. But anyways, I think it's going to wrap it up for this episode of Stormworks. Hopefully you enjoyed this episode of Sinking Ship Survival. I've limited most of these episodes to one ship. That way we can stay with it longer. Plus have a pretty epic sink there. It still happened fairly fast, but that back piece stayed up. And that getting to the lifeboat, that was uh, pretty nerve-wracking. So, do tune in tomorrow. we got something big coming tomorrow with Stormworks. I want to thank you guys for all the love and support on the Stormworks series. Especially the Sinking Ship Survival a comment below with suggestions for new survival videos. But yeah, thank you guys for watching, and we will see you guys next time.